वेलकम टू द कोड टू एनहांस लर्निंग वीडियो सीरीज टू लर्न कोडिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द लेसन माय स्प्राइट स्पीक्स द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू मेक अ स्प्राइट मूव अराउंड ऑन द स्टेज स्पीक एंड प्ले अ साउंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट्स सी अ प्रीव्यू लेट्स प्रेस राइट एरो की नाउ प्रेस अप एरो की now press left arrow key and let's press down arrow key in order to make this project we have to learn about algorithms and program we can learn about these topics with the help of an example of drawing a square so algorithm is a group of instruction which helps us to complete our task If we want to draw a square we have to follow these algorithm given below draw a line of 50 steps now turn 90 degrees clockwise again we will draw a line of 50 steps and turn 90 degrees clockwise we will follow this up to 4 times in order to make a square a recipe to make your favorite dish is also an algorithm as it tells you a group of steps to complete a task that is make a dish thus algorithms are present in many places around us algorithm is mostly for us humans to complete a task however a computer doesn't understand these algorithms written in languages human can understand thus we need to write these instructions in a language that the computer can understand now moving on to program program a group of instruction which helps us to complete a task in a language that a computer can understand in this picture there is a program written in scratch language which computer can understand to draw a square a program is also called code or a script The process of writing program or code is called programming or coding. Now in today's lesson we are going to learn a new concept that is sequence. Sequence means things in logical order. You can see tiles on floor are in logical order. Below the first picture shows that the girls and boys are standing in a logical order and second picture shows how you can brush your teeth which is also following a logical sequence we are going to write our program in language called scratch here i am going to use the offline version of scratch for this lesson this is the environment of scratch which we are going to use it has three parts this is the first part which is a stage stage is a place where you can see performance here this is a cat which is a default character such that whenever you will open a scratch then it will appear on a stage all the characters are a sprite if you want to add a new one then click on this and choose a new sprite here you can see different different sprites are present and you can select any one of them which you want here i am going to select this penguin sprite Now I will remove this default sprite from here. Here you can see there are different costumes of this sprite is present. I am going to select this one. Right now you can see here there is a blank or white background and we can also add some different types of background. A background on a stage is called a backdrop in Scratch. So I am going to click here. You would be able to see different different backdrops here. Now I am going to select this winter backdrop. Then the second part is called the block palette. In a block palette, there are different blocks present. So if you click on these different icons then you will be able to see different blocks are present here now moving on to third part this place is called editor so editor is a place where you can write codes or a program which could be written by dragging the block like this so 
you can see here i click on this then this sprite follows the instruction and move ahead so this is the introduction of scratch before starting i am going to ask you a question can you tell me what will happen on a stage okay we need a sprite which will move right left up and down as the arrows keys are placed on the keyboard now i will think about what we will need on the stage okay a sprite which looks like penguin because it will a character in my game a background which is snowy because they live there i have already got the penguin sprite and backdrop on the stage now let's see how we can code the sprite as i want this sprite to move in right direction whenever i press right arrow key so for this i will select this event now i am going to select this block as i want that when i press the right arrow key it move 50 steps ahead but before i want it to point in direction right so for this i will select this block it shows right direction so after this the sprite will face in right direction and then move 50 steps ahead let's see how it works see this is moving in right direction now i also want that the sprite will say i am going right so for this i will select looks and then this say block here and right in this i am going right now i will select the sound block and select this sound now let's see how it works here you can see it is saying i am going right with a sound and move 50 steps ahead now i want it to move left for this i am going to write a new program by duplicating it here instead of right arrow key i will use left arrow key and here i am going to change its direction and also i will write here i am going left and the rest of the code will remain same let's see how it works Similarly I will write for up and down arrow key So the coding part is done now let's see how the whole program will run So this is the code for my sprite speaks using scratch programming. Now it's your turn to bring your favorite sprite and make it move, speak and make a sound. After this I have some quizzes for you. Read it carefully and discuss the answer with your partner or teacher. Now before ending this I have some questions which you have to discuss with your partner or teacher thank you for watching